going to explain to you about the exercise so that you don't get confused. Now, uh, Katut is going to send by email uh, three different files, okay? Now, not all of the files you have to do. Now, the thing is that uh, from the toolkit, we have a lot of templates, but we know that it's not possible for you to work all on all of the templates. So we're just going to let you know which parts that you really need to do and which other parts which you only need to do if you think you have the extra time, yeah? So that you don't try to do everything because it's actually quite extensive if you see all of the templates. So I'm just going to explain what is the most important for you to do and the rest is consider it something which is optional. Only if you think you have time because we don't want you to wake up until midnight also. We want you to rest also. <laughs> so we want to keep this as realistic as possible, okay? So the first thing, the most important thing to do is after the discussions today, please go back to the first template, yeah? And at the minimum, what you should do is go back and revisit your problem statement, yeah? And the remaining slides, so the problem statement, general objective, specific objective, and research questions, okay? based on discussions today, yeah? Uh, because if you don't have this fixed yet, if this is not solid yet, it doesn't make sense for you to go to the next ones, yeah? So please make sure that you're pretty much confident with this part first before you continue. This is the most important one, yeah? We, do, we, do, we don't want to force you to go to the next one if you're not confident with this one yet, yeah? So this is the first thing you do. Make sure that these uh, four slides are okay, that you are okay with it, that you feel you have a good problem statement, a good general objective, specific objective, and research question, which are IR. Yeah? Again, as we saw in the morning, there's a lot of public health research problem, public health research questions, but many of them are not actually focusing on the implementation issues. So what we want are implementation specific issues. Yeah? And so uh, this is the first one, okay? Your email from Ketut, which is called IR outcome. Yeah? So this is after the research questions. Yeah? Remember on the last template, you finish on the research questions. Now after you have your research questions, and then you go here, and then tell us which IR outcomes are most relevant to your research questions. You saw in uh, Donnie's presentation that there is a lot of IR outcomes. It doesn't mean that you have to do all of them. What it means is that you have to see which of that is most relevant to your issue, to your problem. Perhaps your issue is more about feasibility, not yet sustainability. Perhaps it's about acceptability. It's up to you. Whatever you think is most relevant to your problem. Yeah? And it also depends on the stage of the implementation. If it's something which is quite early, then the issue is usually around feasibility, acceptability, and so forth. But if it's something which has been going on for quite a while, then you might think of sustainability. Yeah? So think of your interventions, at what stage it is now. Is it on an early stage or something which is already running and well established and you're thinking more of something around line of sustainability. But anything you think are relevant, then you just mention it here. Yeah? Is that clear up to here? Yeah? So all the way to research question plus the outcomes. Okay? Now the second file that uh, you're going to get from Ketut by email is called the project plan. Now this is related to what we discussed uh, before lunch break. And here you will see that uh, there is three slides behind the cover slide. There is a Gantt chart, which uh, we would like you to try to fill in. Yeah. Now in this Gantt chart, uh, what you, we need, you need to do is to fill in the activities and here we put months 1 to 12, but that's not necessarily what it should be. It depends on your project. Perhaps you have a 24 months project, then change it to 24 months. You have a 6 months project, change it to 6 months. So this is just a template, but you should adjust it to your own project. But just to remind you that we recommend that, okay, you think of the planning phase, implementation, follow through. But also not just copy pasting what was on the slides. Yeah? Uh, you have to adjust it also to your projects. Yeah? 
to specifically what are the activities which are important to your projects. So that's going to be after your outcomes, this is what you have to think of. You have a clear outcome and then you make a Gantt chart. And then afterward, you make your research team structure. Again, this is just an example. Doesn't mean that you have to do just fill in the box, but make the boxes yourself, whatever you think is most appropriate for your team. Okay? Is that clear for this one? Now, the last one is budget and good news, you don't have to do this. <laughs> because this will keep you awake. <laughs> This is a bit too much, okay? So we would be happy enough if you finish with the research team, okay? So that you get a work plan, a Gantt chart, and then a research team. And this you can leave for now, but if you have extra time, if you cannot sleep, well, you can do that. <laughs> if you have insomnia, you want to work, you can do that. <laughs> but it's not something that we require you to present tomorrow, okay? But it's just something if you would like to do it, then do it. You would have to do it anyway if you want to do it, but it doesn't have to be tonight, yeah? So the additional ones are actually just the outcomes, the work plan, and the research team structure, yeah? There is another uh, set of slides which Ketut will be sending, uh, which is called impact, related to uh, Ibu Ari's last sessions. Uh, but this once again, you are not required to do. This is just for you to have if you want also to work on the impact part, the monitoring evaluations, uh, capacity building, and the dissemination, which was discussed with Ibu Ari before the coffee break. So this particular set is not obligatory. This is something that you can keep if you want to work on it, but if not, then not. Is that clear? Anything that you want to clarify before you go to the group work? So again, the first priority is to go back to your first template, do your problem statement, general objective, specific object research question, that's number one. If you get that, then do your research outcomes. If you finish that, then you do your project plan, which is your Gantt chart, your work plan, and your team structure. That's it. Clear? We are doing a separate slide like that. Now you can compile it. We're sending it one by one. But then you can put it together. You can just insert it. No? Compile with the, the existing. Sorry? Compile with the existing. Yeah, yeah, the existing. So the existing one you already have, but you have to just look back into your problem statement, your objective, your research question, just change that. And then you insert the outcome. Yeah. And then you insert the project plan. Is that clear? Yeah? That should not be too difficult, not just to copy the file and put it behind each other. And forget this ones unless you cannot sleep at all <laughs> for, the, for the impact and for the budget and for the support. Okay? Clear? Okay, if clear then you have the tables behind you for you to work with, yeah? And we have time, we will still be here until five, but if you'd like to continue later on, you can still also continue. So please proceed to your work tables, yeah? So that you can start working as far as you can until five.